If you're facing long, never-ending loading screens on Valorant and you're unsure as to why this is happening, then this video is for you. Stick around and we'll shorten those load times in no time. Alright, so the very first thing you want to make sure of is that your computer meets the minimum spec requirements to run Valorant. So, um, we're going to look at the recommended specs, this section right here. Minimum is a little too less, and we're going to look at recommended or high-end. If you want a 60 frames per second gameplay, then recommended is good for you. You'd need an Intel i3 from the 4th generation and a Ryzen 3 from a 3rd generation if you like AMD over Intel. And you're going to need a GPU of a GeForce GT 730 or Radeon R7 240 as the equivalent from AMD. You'd need either a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 with at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I recommend 8 because um, nowadays processes on your computer and stuff, they take up a lot of RAM. So 8 gigabytes is good. Um, above all, if you have a Windows 11, you will need TPM 2.0 and UEFI Secure Boot enabled. But those would be the minimum specs you would require to run the game. And if your specs are better than this, they excel this, and this is not your issue, and we'll move on to the next thing. Next, we're going to look at your, um, your graphics drivers. You want to make sure that your graphics card's drivers are updated to the latest versions. Because typically, if they're outdated, that could cause issues with the game itself, lagging, etc., all, uh, all that jazz. So, let's say you have an NVIDIA graphics card. You're going to want to uh, download an app called GeForce Experience. Just like so, GeForce Experience. You just want to go onto Google, type in GeForce Experience, and you'll find it. Then you want to download this right there. If you have an AMD graphics card, a Radeon graphics card, you just want to look up uh, graphics driver updates. Just like so. You'll see driver and support processors and graphics from AMD, and they offer that. Right here, download Windows drivers, and you'll be able to update your graphics drivers. Just like so. You can also check here for driver information. Whole step right here. If you have an AMD processor, this is, uh, I mean, graphics card, this is what you'll need to do. But I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll guide you through that. So we'll open up GeForce Experience, just like so. And uh, once it opens, you'll see a tab for drivers. You want to select that and install the latest game-ready driver. Not the latest drivers, the latest game-ready driver. Right here, it says game-ready. So this would mean that it's optimized for the, uh, the most popular games like Valorant, like um, God of War, Payday, Grand Theft Auto, all that good stuff. And um, others, like games like CSGO and stuff. So you just want to express installation. You just want to click on that. Or you want to click on the check for updates button. And you'll see this entire page refresh. And it'll give you the latest driver. Mine's not updated, but that's not um, that's not the concern. That's fine. You want to do this. And you will see that your game should improve in terms of load times. But if not, then we'll try something else. So, the next step would be to head on over to Riot Client. You want to open Riot Client and you want to locate Valorant itself. You want to click on that and then you want to click on the little profile button at the top right. You want to click on settings. You want to head on over to um, this there's Riot Client and then there's Valorant itself. Over here you'll see the button for repair. You want to make sure that the game files are there. that they're. Um, you want to check for game file integrity. So you just want to click on repair here. And you'll see that your game is up to date, your game is good to go, no repair is needed, right? So, my game's fine, I'm not facing any issues with load times, but this might say something else for you. You just want to run the diagnostics and see what it says. So, um, I also recommend clicking on Enable Auto Update so that it automatically updates Valorant, and um, you're not facing any issues with any updates. So, if, um, if it repairs your game and that fixes your load time, then that's great. If not, and uh, let's say, for example, you have things like Discord running in the background, things like Chrome open in the background, etc. You want to make sure that those applications are closed. You want to quit that. I have OBS open because I'm recording, but uh, things like that, you want to quit those when you're running Valorant. It could potentially increase the um, or decrease the load times and uh, make it so that your performance is better. You're able to run the game faster and good things like that. But um, if that is not your issue, if you've checked for um, repairs and your game is not, uh, the files are perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that, and there's no unnecessary applications open in the background, we'll try something else. Okay, so the next step would be to ensure that your graphics aren't set too high. 
Typically, Valorant will do that itself. It'll automatically set your graphics for you and you won't have to worry about it. But let's say your graphics are set too high and that is increasing load times. So once you have the game open like this, you want to head on over to the settings cog, click on settings, head on over to video, and under general, you want to make sure that this is set to your resolution. You want to change display mode to full screen instead of windowed full screen. And um, you want to turn things like maximum FPS. You can limit your FPS depending on your computer. I typically want this at 144 or 60 or even 120 depending on your computer's limits. Then you want to head on over to graphics quality and you want to change material, texture, detail, UI all to medium or low depending on your computer specs. You want to keep VSync off. You want to make sure that your uh, anti-aliasing is set to MSAA2X, not FXAA or MSAE4X. It depends on your computer specs. Again, that's important. I like to keep anisotropic filtering at 8x. 16x is way too much. You don't need that. Nobody does. 8x is good enough. You can even keep it at 4 if you'd like. Uh, I recommend keeping improved color, uh, clarity off. And uh, beta sharpening, you want to keep those off. Um, but if you like, you can turn them on as well. It doesn't affect performance too much. It just makes the game look sharper in a way. But uh, that would be to... Uh, you know, to ensure that your graphics aren't set way too high. Mine are set according to my computer's limits. You should check yours and ensure that that is not the case. But let's say this is not your issue. You're not facing these problems with your game and your graphics are just fine. You want to ensure that you have a stable internet connection. As you can see, I am connected wirelessly currently. You'll see that I am connected wirelessly and um, this doesn't perform the best. If I go on to Google and I type in Ookla, which is a internet speed tester, and I run it here, just give it a second, and I run this, you'll see that um, my, my speed is about 100 megabytes per second, which isn't the best speed achievable, but it is decent. It's pretty nice. Uh, my internet's pretty stable. I can play games like Valorant without any issues, but if that's not the case, your internet's kind of slow, uh, 10 MBs, 20 MBs, then you, I recommend you get yourself a, and your router is also pretty weak, I recommend you get yourself an Ethernet cable. You want to connect your computer uh, to your router via, via an Ethernet cable. That will ensure that your internet connection is fairly stable. Now, if, again, this doesn't fix your error and you're still facing long loading screens, what you can try doing finally is uninstalling Valorant. Now, how you want to do that is make sure the game itself is closed. So you want to close window and you want to ensure that Valorant Vanguard here, right? Vanguard is closed. You want to head on over to your system tray options in this show hidden icons button. You want to right click and exit Vanguard. Click on yes and then right Vanguard will close. Just give it that a minute. You want to close Riot Games as well. Exit on that and it's all closed. Then you want to head on over to control panel and uninstall Valorant. The, the options that I showed you just now, sorry, um, speeding up a little too much, but everything I just showed you to exit to make sure everything is closed is extremely important. If you uninstall Valorant without closing Riot Vanguard and Valorant itself, files can corrupt and potentially brick your computer. That's happened to me before when I was using Valorant and um, it was causing me issues like long loading times and lag. I tried to uninstall the game without closing Riot Vanguard and that resulted in my computer getting bricked. You don't want that. So we'll open control panel by going to our search bar, control panel, head on over to uninstall a program and locate Valorant right there. You want to right click and then uninstall. I'm not going to do that. I don't have a need to, but you should. It'll take a second and you'll have Valorant out of your system. Then you want to head on over back to Google Chrome, type in Riot Valorant, and you just want to download it from Valorant's homepage. Just like so, play for free. But that would be how to deal with your issue. How to, These are the different troubleshooting processes that will potentially help you out with your issue. But if absolutely none of these have helped you out and you're still facing problems, the last and um, only solution I have for you is to consider reaching out to Valorant's official support team. How you do that, you just want to go on over to Google Chrome, type in Riot Support, just like so. Riot Game Support. And... Um, uh, for, for Valorant, you just want to click on submit a ticket for Valorant, and then you want to fill out a ticket depending on your specific situation, right? Just like so, choose a request type, you just want to um, mention your issue. But anyway, 
That would be how to fix your um, long loading screens on Valorant. If this video has been useful to you and uh, has been resourceful to you, uh, do like the video, support it. I would appreciate that very much. And if you're still facing issues and, uh, and your loading screens are in, uh, unbearable, leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out. But uh, I'll catch you guys a different time.